Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize the background of an accordion block in your Squarespace website. We're going to give it a unique background color and change up the border radius and border style so this accordion block can really pop. Now, all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how it works. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site, and if I scroll down, you can see I have an accordion block here, and this is the name of the accordion block, or the selector, that we're going to use to change up the style with some CSS. So I'm going to navigate to Design, and then scroll down to Custom CSS, and this is where I'll be pasting the code. Now there is a difference between these two, and I want to show you this. If I start with just SQS block accordion, open up a curly bracket, and say background uh, yellow, for example, you'll see that this goes all the way past those divider lines, all the way out to the edges past the icon. It gives a lot of space behind the entire accordion block. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a semicolon, and I'll say border radius. 25 px and let's just give it a solid border of 2 px uh, let's go with green there we go so now you can see i have a border that goes all the way around the entire block and again not to the edge of the divider line it goes out past that edge of that it goes out past the edge of the title past the icon on the right hand side all of that fun stuff now if you want to isolate this border background and border radius all of this stuff to just the content inside the accordion then you're going to want to use this whole selector here. I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard and paste that in the beginning of the code. There we go. And now you'll notice this goes all the way up to the edge of those items. So that's the difference between the two. If you remove this line right here, it'll go out a little bit past the edge of all of those things. If you paste it there, it'll isolate your code to just the accordion block content. Now, instead of a solid color background here, um, I've just used a web safe color name. You can use a hex color code if you want to. That's one of my favorite light shades of blue. Um, you can even do a linear gradient. Let's play around with that code. I'm going to say background linear gradient. Open up a parentheses to the right. Uh, let's say pink to that light blue. And then I'll close my parentheses there and check it out. Now I have a linear gradient background for my accordion. And again, I've added border radius and gave it a solid border, all kinds of fun options for how to customize this style so that it looks uniquely awesome for your own website. Whatever you decide to do, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, those codes are listed in the description below, but definitely get creative and customize those colors and border styles to suit your own website design. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.